Hello and welcome. In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate how to work with our script and log files that are created in the Kiwi Explore module. All the plots and tables created in Kiwi Explore are generated using R, and every time you execute a profile, an R script and a log file will actually be uh, created. These uh, two files, the script and the log files, will be loaded alongside the EDA displays in the Kiwi database. And I will illustrate how you can view the script and log files within Kiwi Explorer. I will also illustrate how you can process the warnings that are sometimes reported in uh, the log files. I will switch to the application. Here I have open Explorer for one data set and I've already run uh, five different profiles, three box plots, and two uh, summary statistics tables. You can see that the first uh, profile in the summary statistics table folder displays this warning in red, messages in log. This indicates that Kiwi recognized the existence of warnings in the uh, log files. So uh, to view this log file, you need to right click on the profile name and in this contextual um, window you have to select the view log option. This opens uh, this pop-up window which reports the content of the log file. So this is all the output that are uh, created when it executed the scripts. Typically warnings are found in the second half of the script and warnings are uh, any text uh, starting with the star star open bracket one close bracket. This is an indicator of a warning. This tag is used in uh, various messages uh, by, uh, provided by R it could be simple uh, information messages, it could be warning, or it could be errors that were um, reported uh, after the, uh, the script crashed. So you will need to read the log file and determine if uh, a, a warning was uh, something to worry about or something that could be ignored. Uh, in this case, we have a warning about missing values in the dataset and um, a distribution of those missing values across the different variables. So this might be something to consider if you're displaying uh, information about, for example, the DV uh, variable, or it could be something that you can ignore. To ignore a warning, just press the suppress warnings button at the bottom of this window. This will um, hide the warnings in log message in the navigation tree and it will also edit slightly the, uh, the log file. The tag uh, star star one is transformed into a plus plus one tag which is not recognized as a warning. You can always revert your decision by clicking on the uh, button again. This uh, time the button reads as report warnings. So I will click on this button again. And now both the, uh, the log file are reverted uh, back to the initial content and the uh, warning uh, message in log is shown again. Sometimes uh, the warnings could be a little bit wordy, a little bit difficult to uh, interpret, and uh, if you become more familiar with the, uh, the Kiwi Explore window, it is sometimes um, more efficient to look into the script file. So you can click on the view script in the con uh, contextual menu, and this will show you literally the, uh, the script that was executed to give the, uh, the log file that we were just looking at. So as I said, when you become more familiar with uh, Kiwi Explorer, you will 
better understand how the settings uh, defined in the, uh, the profile configuration uh, from the configure button uh, are translated into actual R code. Uh, and sometimes it's easier to uh, spot a problem in the R code and return to the uh, configuration to correct that problem than to look into the, the log files. So uh, sometimes some, uh, something that I do. So uh, this concludes our presentation of uh, the log file and the script file in Kiwi Explorer. Thank you very much.